Mike Pence tweeted, Today I had the honor of joining President Trump witness at Astrodug and at Astrobenkin complete a historic or an historic space launch. Astro Doug and Astro Benkin. Cool. Wonder if Pence and Trump did rock, paper, scissors to see which one of them got to be Astro Boy. Loudspeakers played Macho Man as the president and vice president arrived on the viewing roof for the launch. Pundits commented that it was typical Trump, but actually the song was for Pence. When Mother's not around, he loves the village people. For the love of God, please tell me that Suicide Watch is not a YouTube channel. Trump's national security advisor said Trump's threat to shoot protesters was his attempt to de-escalate violence. Yeah, and finishing half a cold pizza this morning was my attempt to de-escalate the numbers that show up when I step on the scale and yell, Whoa, Nelly! The National Guard should be called in to, to, to protect us from the voices in Trump's head at the vast front lines of the space between his ears. Sure, the United States is currently an all-you-can-eat buffet of moral rot and decay with no sneeze guards. But our daily homemade pies are still world class. In the past two months, I've spent about a year's worth of quality time with my wife. Seems like five. Guess the subjectiveness of quality creates its own space-time continuum, which is quite possibly the basis for a new physics-inspired branch of psychology, quantum tedium. Trump announced he's unilaterally decided to let Putin back into the G7. He also unilaterally, unil it's like strategery, unilaterally invited Paul Manafort back onto his campaign and Stormy Daniels to live in the White House. Trump unilaterally invited Putin to the G7 summit? Makes sense, since he's given unilaterally polished off buckets of KFC in one sitting, ignored his youngest two children, decided that sevens on his golf cart is really a four, and that cheeseburgers shall from now on be considered both a fruit and a vegetable. Trump said, the so-called protesters at the White House had little to do with George Floyd. They were just there to cause trouble. Secret Service handled them easily. Tonight's MAGA night at the White House. MAGA night at the White House? Gee, sir, hope the wife doesn't take effect when both you and jo Giuliani show up in the same saucy Slovenian outfit. MAGA night. Where's my dancing shoes? I'll bring the Coke, you bring the Adderall. Oh, yes, it's MAGA night, and the feeling's right. Oh, yes, it's MAGA night, oh, what a night.